Hi students, welcome to Learn Clue Digital Abacus. Today we are going to learn about what is Abacus, how exactly it is going to useful for our future and our academics also. First of all, we need to know about what is Abacus. Abacus is an uh, instrument which is being used for doing all kinds of arithmetical calculations. With this abacus, we can do any kind of arithmetical calculations. Now let's try to learn about, know about a little bit of history. Okay, abacus was invented by Greek people 2500 years ago. Okay, and later this concept has been copied by so many countries and so many continents, but there are only two countries who develop this concept. One is Chinese and one is Japanese. We follow Japanese method of abacus. In Japanese language, abacus is called as soraban. Abacus is called as soraban. Okay, for every concept there will be one objective like that in abacus also there is one motto or objective what is that the objective or motto of abacus is 100% speed and accuracy by learning of abacus you are going to acquire 100% speed and accuracy and apart from that you are going to acquire certain set of skills. What kind of skills you are going to empower by learning of Abacus? Basically by learning of this Abacus program your inherent abilities is going to be improved in a remarkable level like you are going to improve your concentration, you are going to improve your uh, uh, listening skills, memory power, logical thinking and judgment abilities. Apart from this, the one most important skill you are going to empower is self-confidence. Once you learn Abacus, you can do any kind of arithmetical calculation without help of pen paper and even Abacus also. Through this, you will gain that motivation, self-confidence you are going to gain by learning of Abacus. That is why this program is called as a 360 degrees brain development program. Okay, Abacus learning enables the right part of the hemisphere. It will, uh, it will uh, enrich the brain functions. Okay. Now, brain fun another important thing in Abacus is this is also very very useful to overcome phobia what kind of phobia normally the students are going to having at in very initial stages primary level students they are having a phobia of mathematics by learning of abacus you are going to overcome the phobia of mathematics also Okay, this Abacus program is going to make you the most robust person and self-confident with this proper set of skills. Okay, that's why this program also called as Abacus Mental Arithmetic Program. Okay, students, now we are going to start learning Abacus. So, let's cheer up and gear up. Now we are going to learn about parts of Abacus. First of all, this is Abacus frame. The Abacus frame is in rectangular shape. In this Abacus, you will be seen some rods and beads. Okay, the yellow ones, we can call it as beads and the black vertical lines, we call it as a rods okay now apart from this you are going to see a line this line we call it as a unit bar or answering bar okay again in this line you are going to see some 
white dots these white dots we call it as a unit dots okay now we will see what are all the beads the beads which are below the unit bar we call it as a earth beads we call it as earth beads okay and the beads which are in the upper part above the unit bar we call it as a heaven beads okay once again we are uh, going to repeat this thing abacus which is in a rectangular frame the beads uh, in the lower part below the unit bar we call it as a earth beads and above the unit bar we call it as a heaven beads right this is unit bar and these are unit dots okay now we will see the value of the bead all the earth beads carries value of one all the earth beads carries value of one all the heaven beads carries value of five all the heaven beads carries value of five okay in this i am going to explain about how to move the beads okay you consider that we have numbers from zero to nine right we will see how to move these beads first of all you have to understood one very important thing if any bead touches this unit bar then only the value of the bead will be considered as a count and if it loses the contact from the unit bar it loses its value once again i am repeating if any bead touches this unit bar then only the value of the bead will be considered as a count if it lose the contact from the unit bar it loses its value okay now we will see how the 0 to 9 will be counted on abacus if any bead if no bead is touching this unit bar then the value is a 0 if no bead is touching the unit bar the value is a zero if i can consider any of these unit dots as a units place let us consider this place as a units place okay so if i move one bead towards the unit bar what is the value one the value of the earth bead is one okay now i'm going to touch one more bead now what is the value two right i'm going to touch one more bead it's a three now it's a four right now tell me what is the value it's a zero because i moved all the beads away from the unit bar so the value is a zero as i told you what is the value of the heaven bead it's a five all the heaven beads were carries value of five okay this is five now now how to go for the next number what is the next number it's a six isn't it so if i touch one earth bead to the unit bar then it becomes 5 plus 1 6 if i touch one more bead 5 plus 2 7 now it's an 8 again it becomes 9 so in one unit's place we have count of 9 we have a count of up to 9 numbers now you might be having a question what is the next number how the 10 will be calculated 
For that, I will show you one simple example. As you already know, what is ones place, tens place, hundreds place, and all these things. The same concept will be applied over here. Let me tell you what this will be the value. This is units place, this is tens place, and this is hundreds place. Likewise, here also in abacus this is ones place i mean units place the left hand side of the units place will be which place tens place exactly here also this will be a tens and this place hundreds place likewise if it is considered as a ones place then this is tens place and this is hundreds place okay actually you will think that you said that all the attributes carries value of 1 then how it becomes 10 or uh, any other number simple as i told you the value of the uh, attribute is only one but it going to differs according to their place value if i place one bead over here this is ones place and this is tens place the value of the bead is 1, but it is in which place? It's a tens place. So, the value is 10. If I move 2 beads over here, then what could be the value? It's a 20. Now, it's a 30. It's a 40. Now, it is 0. Let's start a simple count. I moved 1 bead in units place and 1 bead in tens place. So what is the value? This is 10 and this is 1. 11. Okay. Now what is this? It's a 12. 13. 14. Now what is this? I moved heaven bead. One heaven bead in one's place. What is the value? 5. Here what is the value? 10. 10 plus 5? 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. I moved two beads in tens place. Now what is the value? It's a 20. Now tell me what is the value it is? It's a 22. Now it's a 24. 25. 27. 29. It's a 30. 31. 33, 34, 39, 40, 43, 48, 49, 50. I moved heaven bead in tens place. So what is the value? I, actual value is only 5. But it is in which place? Tens place though. So it becomes 5 becomes 50. 51. 54. Now it's a 55. 57. 59. 60. Okay. 61. 62, 63, 68, 69, 70, 72, 77, 79, 80, 84, 89, 90. 92, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Then we are supposed to go to the next number. What is the next number? 100. 100 comes in which place? This is 1's. This is tens. Now, this will be hundreds. When you are taking a bead in hundreds place, 
this will be 100 this is how you are supposed to count beads on abacus i hope you understand well thank you